Ho, what's happening, guys? So, not only is today, June 13th, my birthday, I got my free Starbucks coffee, but we're also going to be talking about something that I love, and that is audio. So, we're going to be talking about how can we get more professional and better sounding audio in our videos. So, this is going to be a multi-part series here, and I'm going to start out with a few tips and tricks here. We're going to jump into Resolve and talk about the different things you can do to make your audio sound more professional. So before we even jump into DaVinci Resolve, we need to talk about a few things that are super important when you're recording, because good audio starts with your recording. And if your recording stinks, your audio is gonna stink. I mean, we need to get the best quality audio we can when you get started making your videos. So let me put this down here real quick, put down that coffee. Now, I wanna show you guys how close I am to my camera here. So I'm gonna film a little video on my phone. All right, so you should see, I have it pretty close to me. I'm probably only a foot away from the microphone on top of my camera. So if you're using a camera and you're doing a vlog style thing like this, you're gonna wanna have it fairly close to you because if I move it farther away, then you can hear it doesn't sound as good, right? So that's one thing that you wanna keep in mind is your microphone placement. Where are we putting this microphone while we're recording? Now, if it's on top of your camera like this, obviously I'm gonna have the camera pretty close, you know, that should work out pretty good. But what if I swap to a lav mic, right? I got this lav mic right here. It's gonna sound a little bit different, but I wanna make sure I've got some good placement, right? Maybe if I'm wearing a t-shirt, it's on my collar right here, obviously probably tuck this in. But you get the idea because if I take this guy off, right? and I had it down here, well, you might not hear me as good, or if it was farther away for some reason, you wanna make sure that you're using the right kind of mic, as well as putting it in the spot that makes sense, that's as close to your source as you can. Because obviously, the closer it is to here, the better the audio we're gonna pick up, and the better the audio is that we're gonna have to work with once we get into DaVinci Resolve. So, super important on placement with a lav mic. Well, let's say maybe you've got a setup that's like this. You're down in a studio, maybe you're in your office or something, you're recording, and we've got a boom mic, right? Or you have a mic on your desk or something. Well, look how high this guy is away from me. That's too high. You don't want it to be that far away. You want it essentially to be just outside the frame. And that's what I try to do in all my videos, get this microphone up here as close as I can to myself, so that way it's picking up just me. I can keep my levels down low on the microphone for recording so I'm not picking up a lot of ambient noise. Now this is a shotgun mic, so that helps a lot too with not picking up a lot of ambient noise and extra noise that might be going on. So microphone type, that makes a big difference, but let's adjust this guy so it's about more in the right position. Now when I have my main angle set up, this microphone is really close to my mouth. I would make sure it's just outside the frame, similar to how you see in this little clip right here. If I pull it down a little bit, you see it'll poke into the frame, but if it's in the spot that it should be, it's just outside the frame and you can't tell that it's there. So you wanna make sure you've got good levels here on your camera or your recording device. Now you can see right down over here is my level levels and it's coming up to about that green bar there and that is minus 12 db on my canon 5d mark IV here so you want to make sure that those levels are good there you're not peaking because if you're peaking you're not going to be able to use any of that it's going to be no good but you want to make sure that the levels are good enough and high enough that you're going to have a good signal to work with once you get into davinci resolve and that's just going to make your job a lot easier in resolve and trying to make this audio sound more professional so be sure to set your levels properly before you start recording all right, so now that you made sure you're recording good audio, we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you in part one of this series here on how we can make some changes to the EQ to help sculpt our audio, make it sound a little bit better, make it sound clearer, and just help improve it a little bit. Now you may not need to apply all these things, but let's jump into Resolve, check it out, and you can see what's gonna work best on your clips. Getting Resolve. Jumping into Resolve here, let's talk about the things you can do to start to make your audio sound more professional. If you have a good recording, you're off to a good start because that is a huge factor in being able to get your audio to be good. Because if you got garbage in, you're going to get garbage out. So I'm going to assume that your levels are pretty good because you set them up right when you start to record, right? On your camera as well as on your microphone. But just to double check it in Resolve, let's play through this clip here. And I like to keep my audio levels, my vocal levels around that minus 10 dB. So let's play through. We're gonna take a look at the meters over here and just make sure that we're getting around this minus 10 dB range. Now, I like to grab my headphones here. That's what I use to edit my audio. It's gonna make a big difference on, you know, hearing your audio, being able to hear the changes we're gonna make and make sure that it sounds good. But if you have some studio monitor speakers, that's helpful too. So let's see what we got for our levels here. It sounds like when you apply a high pass filter, so a high pass filter is gonna get rid of the lower end frequencies. All right, so our sample clip here, it's looking okay. It's around that minus 10 dB range. It's close enough. And for this example, what we're gonna be working on today, I think that's gonna be just fine. But if it's not, you wanna adjust your levels. And to do that, you're gonna wanna raise or lower the volume as necessary. You can do that a few different ways. 
Currently I'm in the edit tab right here. You can click on this, drag it up and down. You can change your volume there. You can select your clip, come up to your inspector here, change your volume in the audio tab right here, boost it up, same thing. But you wanna make sure those levels are hitting around minus 10 dB, then you should be good to go. And if you guys aren't really sure on how to do that, you want a little more info on it, comment down below. I can make another video about it. I do have a video up here about setting your audio levels. You can check that out too but we can always cover it again because now we're in Resolve 18. So let's get into these couple EQ tips that are gonna help make your audio sound better. You can do some of these in the edit tab here if you want. I recommend you jump over into Fairlight so we can apply it to the whole track because in the edit tab here, you can only apply it to a clip. So in the edit tab, if I were to click on my clip, make sure you got your inspector open and you're in the audio section, you can come down here and enable the equalizer here and make a few changes if you want. But you're gonna have to do that on a clip by clip basis. And for me, I know I record you know, on the same microphone for a length of time, so I wanna apply it to a track because I'm gonna put each specific microphone in its own track just so we can adjust them accordingly and make them sound the best we can for each specific microphone. So what I'm gonna do is just jump over into Fairlight, little musical notes here at the bottom, click on that. Now, just to make sure we're all looking at the same thing, I'm gonna to go to Workspace and Reset UI Layout. And now we should all be looking at the same thing. So let's make my track a little bit bigger here. I'll zoom in a little bit. So EQ, how do we get to it? Well, we're on audio track one here. So you wanna make sure that you've got your mixer open right here at the top, mixer open, and you should see your EQ right here. If you don't see your EQ, try clicking on these three little dots, make sure that EQ is checked on and then it should be there. You may need to scroll up and down a little bit depending on the size of your screen. So keep that in mind too. Double click your EQ, we're gonna open that up. All right, first tip here in the EQ, how do we get rid of some muddiness here in our clips? To do that, you're gonna to wanna to use a high pass filter. Band one, that's where you wanna add your high pass filter. So high pass filter means everything below whatever point I set, cut it out. And when it comes to vocals, you don't want a lot of that deep, deep low end kind of frequencies because it's just gonna make it sound muddy. So you usually wanna dial this up, I say anywhere from 100 to maybe 150, 160, depending on your particular audio clip. But if it still sounds muddy, you can always bring it up a little bit higher too. So let's play through and listen to how it sounds. I'm gonna start with it uh, all the way down here at 30 and we're gonna raise it up and see if we can hear the difference. So here's a sample clip where we're gonna show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is gonna get rid of the lower end frequencies in your EQ. It's gonna help get rid of some of that muddiness and just make it sound a little bit better. It's not gonna to sound too boomy. All right, so I can hear the difference in my headphones. Can you hear that? Let's go back, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on again. Sample clip where we're gonna show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is gonna get rid of the low. And even if you just take it up a little further, you can really hear the effects of it here. Listen, lower end frequencies in your EQ. It's gonna help get rid of some of that muddiness and just, so that's too much, obviously. That's why I said you want to keep this maybe 150 at most. Usually I go around 100 or 120, depending on the microphone. And each microphone is going to be a little different. So you find what works best for your microphone. But putting on a high pass filter like this is a must when you're working with your audio vocal tracks because you don't want it to sound muddy. You want it to sound clear and crisp. So that is the first tip here in the EQ. Now going along with this, sometimes you're gonna get extra high pitch kind of hiss noise uh, or, or just some kind of higher pitch noise that doesn't sound good in your clip. So what I recommend also, in addition to throwing on the high pass filter is a low pass filter. And that's gonna do exactly the opposite. Looking at the EQ here, turn on band six and we're gonna just roll this guy down a little bit because we don't want these higher frequencies up here to come through because most of the time those are just gonna be unwanted noises that we don't want to hear. Now let's see if we can hear a difference on our particular clips here. So I'm gonna turn back on my band one. I'm gonna set that around 121. That looks pretty good. Now let's turn on band six and turn it off and then see if we notice a difference here on these clips. So a high pass filter is gonna get rid of the lower end frequencies in your EQ. It's gonna help get rid of some of that muddiness and just make it sound a little bit better. It's not gonna to sound too boomy and it should do a good job of starting to clean up that audio for you because we wanna be able to hear it so you can hear a little bit of a difference there. I hope you guys can hear it, it's pretty subtle, but it'll knock out some of that higher end hiss or just higher end frequencies that we don't really need. Now I wouldn't drop this down too low because then it's gonna start to affect the clarity of your vocal track. So just to hear what that sounds like, watch when I crank it down too much. It's gonna get rid of the lower end frequencies in your EQ, it's gonna help get See, now it starts to get a little muddy again. We don't want that. So depending on your particular clip, you might want to set that around, say, uh, 17K, 16K, somewhere in that range. See what works out best for your clip. So the next EQ tip here is going to help, again, clean up that audio and just make the voice sound a little bit clearer in your videos. So the human voice lives around that 1,000 to 2,000 hertz range. So we want to actually take an EQ point, put it in that range, 
and find a part that may not sound so good because generally, at least in my experience, you pretty much always find something that sounds a little harsh in that area. And if we reduce the frequencies a little bit in that range, we can actually help improve the clarity of the audio. So let's come back here and we're just going to work with, uh, say, 0.4 here. You can use any point that you want, but I want to find where does it not sound so hot? So I'm going to crank up my Q factor here. And you can actually use your middle mouse wheel too to scroll open and close. But I'm going to play through my clip and I'm just going to come in this 1 to 2K range, a little above and a little below, and find something that doesn't sound good, sounds a little harsh. And then we're going to drop that frequency out. And that's going to help improve the clarity of our vocal track. Check it out. You apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is going to get... Boom, right there. Did you hear that? That don't sound good. Get rid of the lower end. And let's just go up a little bit, see what's going on up around 2K. Frequencies in your EQ, it's going to help get rid of some of that muddiness and just make it sound a little bit better. It's not going to sound too boomy, and it should do a good job of starting to clean up that audio for you. So there you go. You can kind of hear that. That sounds like junk. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop this guy down. Uh, let's say maybe like 6 dB. So we're going to do a little before and after so you can really hear it here. So here's before, and then I'm going to turn it on, you'll hear the after. So a high-pass filter is going to get rid of the lower-end frequencies in your EQ. It's going to help get rid of some of that muddiness and just make it sound a little bit better. It's not going to sound too boomy, and it should do a good job of... So can you guys hear that? It helps clean up the mid-range of your vocals a lot. And a lot of times, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be something in that a little below 1K to a little above 2K range, somewhere in there, depending on your voice, your microphone, and what the clip is sounding like. And before we jump into the next tip here, I wanna take a minute to thank our sponsor, Audio. If you are looking for some music, some royalty-free music for your videos, Audio is a place that you can check out that has some great music. I've been using their service for a while now. I love it, they got tons of great stuff. Their website is easy to use, easy to navigate around. Audio has an awesome curated catalog of music and sound effects that are used by thousands of top creators that you see on YouTube, as well as big brands like Nike, Netflix, Toyota, and even Nintendo. If you guys are interested in giving audio a try, I got an awesome deal for you for the audio pro plan, and that's going to save you 70%. Yeah, 70%. That's crazy, right? So it's going to cost you $59 for the entire first year. All you have to do is use code Jason70 when you check out. There's a link in the description below. Check that out. And what do you get? You get the ability to use these songs all over on any platform. They add new songs every day. There is a ton of great stuff there. I love audio, definitely love using their music, and uh, thank you, audio, for sponsoring today's video. And I'm telling you guys, 70% off for that first year, man, 59 bucks. You can't beat it, give it a try. It's gonna help you level up your videos. All right, let's get back into these tips here to make your audio sound more professional. So this next EQ tip is gonna help increase the clarity of your vocal tracks. Now, it's important that we have good audio and good clear audio because your video can look beautiful, but if it sounds like garbage, let's be honest, nobody's watching that. I'm not watching a video that sounds like garbage. It has to sound good. So looking at our EQ here, I'm going to go ahead and turn on band five. I'm going to change my type to this guy right here, a little bell curve. What you want to do is drag your 0.5 somewhere around that four to 6K range, and you're going to want to give it a little boost. And that's going to help improve the clarity a little bit of the vocal track. So let's listen to our sample here. I'm going to boost that 0.5 in that four to 6K range. See if you can tell that it gets a little bit clearer and sounds a little bit crisper. Now, we don't want to overdo it. I'll show you what happens when we do that. But some microphones and some recordings can really benefit from a little boost in this range. Now, you usually want to cut before you boost. Keep that in mind. So we don't want to boost too much because then that could throw it all up. But let's listen in and see what we got. Here's a sample clip where we're going to show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is going to get rid of the lower end frequencies in your EQ. It's going to help get rid of some of that muddiness. And I can hear it a little bit clearer there. Now, if we boost it too much, here's what happens. Just make it sound a little bit better. It's not going to sound too boomy and it should do a good job of starting to clean up that audio for you because we want to be able to. So a slight boost in that 40K range is going to help just a little bit with that clarity. Again, you don't want to go more than maybe 5 dB at most. You want to keep it as low as you can. You don't want to make too many big changes because eh, it could just start to sound a little, little crazy. And you can hear when I went too high, it introduced some hiss, which we don't want either. So a little boost in that 4 to 6K range can help with the clarity. So those are the main EQ tips. Now I have one, I'm, I'm going to throw it in there because for me, I find a lot of issues with uh, my vocals in this particular range. So if we go ahead and uh, I'm just going to activate point three here and make sure we've got our bell curve looking one right here. I want to grab point three. And for me, for my voice, I find a lot of times there is some muddiness or some uh, honkiness sometimes they call it or there's different ways to describe it. But I'm going to boost this guy up and it's going to be in that somewhere around in that 600 to 800 
range. So look in that range if you find that your clip still just doesn't sound good. Some just don't sound right. Let's try this clip out, see how it sounds here, and see if we can find a, a problem area in that, say, 600 to 800 hertz range. Let's check this out. So here's a sample clip where we're gonna show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is gonna get rid of the lower end frequencies in your EQ. It's gonna help get rid of some of that muddiness and just make it sound a little bit better. It's not gonna sound too boomy and it should do a good job of starting to clean up that audio for. So maybe here around 657, let's drop that down a little bit and see how that sounds clip where we're going to show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is going to get. Can you hear how that really cleaned it up? It took out just some sounds and frequencies that didn't sound good. Let me turn it off and turn it on again so you can hear that real quick. Clip where we're going to show what it sounds like when you apply a high pass filter. So a high pass filter is going to get rid of the lower end frequencies in your E. So what did you guys notice about that frequency range there when we pulled that out? It kind of pulled out some kind of like almost like a hollow kind of sound, right? And it kind of, for me, it just kind of tightened it up a little bit. So if you are having some issues, something just sounds off, definitely look in that, say 600 to 800 range, maybe 500 to 800, somewhere in there. You can pull down a little bit of the frequencies when you find that problem area. And that's really gonna help the vocals in your video sound more professional. All right, guys, so there is part one of making your audio sound better and more professional here in DaVinci Resolve, as well as some camera tips because you gotta get the audio good coming into your camera and recording because if you don't, garbage in equals garbage out, right? We gotta do the best we can to start off recording right. So a big thank you to Audio4 for sponsoring today's video. Again, check them out if you're looking for some good music sound effects for your videos. They really help take your video to the next level. It's royalty free, you can use them everywhere. Save 70%. 70%, that's a lot. So for $59 the whole year, I mean, dude, 59 bucks, eh, save on a few coffees or something, right? So thank you to Audio, and thank you guys for watching. If you want more in-depth details, you have any questions on things I covered in today's video, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to further expand on anything that you might have questions on. And make sure you come back for the additional parts of this series where I'm gonna talk about more tips and tricks on how to make your audio more professional in DaVinci Resolve so that we can get your audio sound in the best that we can for your videos. All right, guys, with that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.